Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. In this video, a 5.0 women's game played in California. The 5.0 players I've seen play in California are very, very good. Now, I'm pretty sure the players in this game are also tennis players, and they're probably very good tennis players. But does that automatically make them 5.0 pickleball players? I mean, 5.0 amateur pickleball players are top notch. They have an all around game. They crap points, they earn points, they don't make a lot of unforced errors. What about these players? Watch and let me know if just because they are good tennis players, does that really make them 5.0 pickleball players? A big thank you to the YouTube channel Astro Pickler for posting this video. Check out the channel and subscribe. Let's go. Looks like a beautiful day in California. Pretty much a cloudless sky, not a lot of wind, just a perfect day to play pickleball. Here's the first serve. She drove that ball right out of the court. A lot of times tennis players have too long of a back swing and it leaves too much room for error as a pickleball court is nowhere near as big as a tennis court. Let's go back and take a look at the swing she put on this ball to hit it out of the court. Let's see here. It's really not that long. It's a little loopy but uh, just not a lot of topspin to get that ball to dive down. Tried to hit the third shot drop, but missed it into the net. So that's two exchanges and two unforced errors. And just missed that one. She kind of bent down a little bit Tried to take it out of the air. Maybe she should have let it bounce. I do like the idea of trying to hit the ball out of the air, but that one goes into the net. That's three out of three on the unforced errors. Now that was a really good shot. So what happened here, she's going to drive this third shot. Her partner is going to crash the net to try to hit the shake and bake. However, I just don't think this ball was hit hard enough. The player in black with the two-handed backhand right at her opponent's feet for the really nice shot here. Nice reset. The unforced error into the net for unforced number four. A little dink battle there and what happens is she lets this ball get behind her and eat her up. She could have moved forward and taken this out of the air. Instead she decides to let it bounce and it just eats her up. That was a really nice serve to this player's backhand and I think being a tennis player she tries to put the backhand slice on this ball and it prevents her from getting it over the net. It did not even hit the net. That's out of the court. So watch what happens here. The player serving the ball. This is a really nice deep return. I think her only option here is to hit this lob and she does a good job with it. She had it here and she just hits it out of the court. This game is in its infancy, and so far there have already been seven unforced errors. Make it eight as she gives away a free point for not being able to get the return of serve into the court. She's going to drive it again right out of the court, and that is just the tennis player attitude trying to hit the ball as hard as possible instead of trying to hit maybe a third shot drop in order to move forward. There's another unforced that is number 10. And 
and that ball is out of the court. She's just having a very difficult time controlling the ball off of her paddle. She's playing with a 6-0 ruby paddle. It's not that powerful of a paddle. I think that was going out of the court, but that one sails out of the court. Nope. Good defense. That's out of the court again. That's just really interesting how many balls she has hit out of the court. That is 13 unforced errors in this game. And again, they claim to be 5.0 players. That just seems like a lot of unforced errors to me. That's just a really good shot right down the middle of the court. Very nice job. Finally, a point that was earned and was not won by the other team making an unforced error. That's seven or eight feet out of the court. A quick timeout to tell you about my online pickleball store, pickleballprintables.com, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. T-shirts, coffee mugs, tumblers, totes, caps, and Kiss Cut stickers. 65 clear, crisp, and clean designs to choose from. Use the coupon code YouTube and get 10% off your first order. Dink in style. Go to www.pickleballprintables.com or click the link in the description below. And that one's right into the net. That's 15 unforced errors. And again, the question is, is just because these players are probably tennis players who are now playing pickleball, does that automatically make them 5.0 players? Let me know what you think. And that's out of the court. Just all of these players seem to be having a difficult time controlling the pace they put on the ball. That was going out of the court. She hit it anyway, and that is out of the court. Not a lot of touch, not a lot of soft game. Out of the court again. Nice reset. That's a nice job there. And a point well earned that time. That was a very short return, but she missed the ball into the net. That was out of the court. Right now, the score is four to three, and the teams have already combined to make 20 unforced errors. There's another shot into the net. What happens here is she lobbed it a couple of times and she's really backing up here. She's way behind the court. And uh, that time she tried to drive it instead of lob it. And her two-handed backhand went into the net. Oh, just out of the court, an excellent point. Obviously the best point of the match so far. Being 5.0 players, I would expect to see much more play like this. However, that is the first time it has happened in this game. Good shot. That's out of the court. 
tried to speed it up there, hit it down the middle. Not a bad idea, but she just hit it too hard. I think she's playing with a Yola Mod 15, which is the most powerful paddle in pickleball. Good job getting to the front of the court. That's out of the court. But not bad. The last three points have all been played at the non-volley zone. They've kind of changed things up here. Let's see if they continue to do this or if they just continue to wail away. She tried, but she made the unforced error into the net on the third shot. Oh, she lobbed it that time out of the court. That is unforced error number 25. And again, the player playing with the 6-0 ruby paddle is just having a hard time with how hard the ball is being hit. Drive it into the net. That is a typical tennis player mistake. Nice shot, just popped up too high. I know that's not an unforced error, but it kind of is because she just popped the ball up. What's interesting, if you'll notice, the players in the back court are running into the fence quite often. They've done it about three or four times when a serve or a return of serve is hit deep. That's out of the court. Again, there's that tennis swing. Just not enough topspin to get that ball to land in the court. You would think that a tennis player would have the ability to put more topspin on the ball than that player does. Now that ball right there had a lot of topspin and it dove down and she could not get that ball back. So she won that point with power. That's a good shot right there. Down the middle, that's about the second or third time she has hit the ball down the middle, and the team in black could just not get to it. She called that ball out of the court. That was going out, I believe. She put her paddle up and hit it anyway. Yep, a firefight there, and uh, just overpowered her. When you're playing against a player like the player with the ruby paddle, just about any time she's standing in the uh, transition zone and she takes a full swing, the ball is going out of the court. So you have to be aware that that is going to happen. Yep, put away. Nice job, a couple of pop-ups in the last few points and uh, very easy put away opportunities that were taken advantage of. Got her there, hit it to her backhand. Oh, just missed that shot. She had it right where she wanted. She kind of crafted that point to get her opponent to pop it up. But when she did pop it up, uh, she just missed it. Oh, good shot. Okay, the game is at the halfway point as the teams have switched sides, and there's another unforced error. And even though this game is only at the halfway point, that is the 30th unforced error of the game. And you've got to ask yourself, do 5.0 players make that many unforced errors? Down the middle. You have seen some shots hit down the middle that were winners. Out of the court. 
third shot coming up, falling back. She's going to lob it. Missed that, and she called that ball out of the court. Oh, put her paddle on it, but knocked it out of the court. Could not get the return of serve over the net. The players in black get a free point. Thank you very much. That's out of the court. I've kind of lost count of how many balls the player with the ruby paddle has knocked out of the court. Again, she's having a very difficult time controlling the ball. That was a really nice two-handed backhand. You could see her tennis ability there. Put a lot of power on that ball. It's going to drive it again here, and she drives it right out of the court. She's playing with a 6-0 double black diamond paddle. That time the power worked. That ball might have been going out, but she put her paddle up and hit it right into the net. Could not get to it. That was a very good shot. Maybe she should have let it bounce. Missed another one. I don't know if she's getting discouraged. I don't know what the score is. Maybe the team in white is way ahead. And that's another serve hit out of the court. Good get. Oh, another unforced error right into the net. And believe it or not, that is the 40th unforced era of the game. That was a good point. She just tried to speed it up and she hit it into the net. And she hits yet another ball out of the court. She's a very athletic player. She hits the ball hard but she has very little control as to where the ball is going. Good defense. And that lob actually fell into the court. It hit the back line. I mean, it was very, very close, but nice shot. She finally got a lob to work for her. out of the court again let's take a look at what happened she hits a third shot drive right to the player who's established at the nine volley zone she hits it right to her partner's feet and she did not have the opportunity to move up because her partner drove the ball Oh, hit the top of her paddle. I hate when that happens. Three point for the team in the back of the court. She just backed up there. Watch what happens. That's a very good shot. But she backed up to hit that ball. She let it bounce. She was about three feet from the non-volley zone. If she would have been all the way to the line, she could have taken that out of the air. It's 14-11-1. Oh, hit the tape and rolled over. It's a good defense. Good defense again. She's going to lob the ball here. 
Oh, she's going to drive it. And what happened there is the player that hit that into the net did not realize where she was in the court. She was not even halfway into the court. That ball was sailing out and she put her paddle up and hit it into the net. If she would not have done that, the game would be over. Good shot. Subscribe. Oh, yes. That's the game. The team in the white wins. The final score was 15 to 11. And in this game, there were 46 unforced errors. So there you have it. I think all players are very athletic. I think they have potential to be very good pickleball players. At this point in their pickleball journey, are they 5.0 players? I don't think so. And that's because in this game, they made 46 unforced errors. If they can clean up those mistakes, they'll be well on their way to being top-notch players. What do you think? Let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. That's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching and see you on the court.